Okay, Guardians, back with another Destiny merch video, and this time we're going to cover Loot Crate. If you're not familiar, Loot Crate is a gaming and pop culture gift box that comes with unique themed items. On paper, it's perfect for any super fan, but let's get into the nitty gritty here and see if it's actually worth subscribing to. Now, Loot Crates come at $50 a pop, so these are not cheap. This video is not sponsored by Loot Crate, and I used my own money signing up for a set of four boxes for a total of $200. Okay, so first up, we have the big item in the box, a Clovis Bray t-shirt. I gotta be honest and say the colors aren't really doing it for me. The blue on blue just isn't really a great look in my opinion, and there are actually better versions of this shirt available in the Bungie store a while back. The design feels generic, and especially since there are other versions of the same design available elsewhere, it doesn't feel like a super special exclusive. Next, we have a notebook. This is a pretty common staple in gaming merch, I'm not sure why, but I don't really find these useful. Most times when I get one, I end up sitting on the shelf. Not particularly a great part of this package. Next, we have some coasters. Yeah, uh, I don't know, they're coasters. Can't really see much use for these. I think, personally, decals might have been a better choice. Then we have a patch, which is cool, I guess, if you want to work that into a Destiny cosplay. I did that myself with the Earth patch here, so I guess that's some okay value. Then we have an exclusive pin. This I'll rate a bit higher, since you're only going to get it out of this crate, and it does look nice in your lapel. And finally, we have a miniature model of the No Time to Explain Pulse Rifle. This is pretty disappointing it's not very detailed and doesn't actually look much like the real thing. It has this weird paint job and just looks kind of crappy. Overall, I'm not sure how the value here adds up to $50. This crate in particular feels more worth $30, if I'm honest. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd rate this box a 6. The best item in the box is a shirt, and even that's not great. The box is supposed to be Europa-themed, the new location from the Beyond Line expansion, but it doesn't feel like much effort went into making it feel really uniquely tied to that location beyond making all the items in the crate blue. So, pretty disappointing actually. I was expecting much better quality for 50 bucks, so hopefully the next one will measure up. These boxes should at least contain one item that's great to have in your collection, something truly unique. When there are cooler items on the Bungie store, it feels like the Loot Crate folks cut some corners and delivered a pretty mediocre product. When there's cool hats, glassware, or desk swag available out there, you have to ask yourself, why are you paying a premium for the loot crate? This one, sadly, misses the mark. I also feel obliged to say that their customer service was not easy to deal with. I'd actually had some trouble getting my crate delivered, and it took a dozen emails to get the problem straightened out. Basically, I'd gotten tracking info saying that the crate had been out for delivery for over a month, while the loot crate people told me it hadn't even shipped yet. The extra logistical hassle made the disappointment hit just a little harder. So there you have it, Guardians. I'd say avoid the Europa Destiny crate, as it's not really got anything inside to be super hype about. The shirt's going into a drawer, the book on a shelf, and the rest will sit on my mantle looking unremarkable. Let's hope the next box hits the mark. I'll be reviewing these as they come in, so stay tuned and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things are really important and will encourage me to make more videos. Now, until next time, happy hunting, Guardians.